We've made it. Arsenal versus Man City. Not only the biggest game of the match week, but the biggest game of the season. How long has it been since Arsenal fans can say their team are participating in the biggest game of the season? We've been watching from the sidelines for so long, watching Liverpool, Man City battle it out for the Premier League title. And now Arsenal can start to be in them conversations. Right, so we got some team news. And there's some interesting picks in there. You know, I think Arsenal have got a massive chance in this game. We heard in the press conference that, you know, Pep Guardiola was saying that they got Edison out. Uh, uh, sorry, Edison's going to be back because he's much, much better. But they said Stones and Walker will be out. But there's a slightly, you know, there's a slight surprise because John Stones is on the bench. He's not starting, which is good. So let's go through the Man City team. They got Ortega in goal. Like I said, that's a big shock. Akanji, Ruben Diaz. Ake, Vardio, Rodri, Bernardo Silva, Kevin De Bruyne, Kovacic, which was, you know, a bit of a shock, Foden and Haaland. Looking at that team, I think Arsenal can have a lot of success in this game. Let me know your thoughts on it. But that defence to me, you know, I think Arsenal can get at that defence. I've seen they brought Kovacic in. I haven't seen him play too many games this season. Maybe that's just to shore it up a bit. But we're coming on to the Arsenal team. We've got David Raya. Ben White, Saliba, Gabriel, Kiwior, same team, Odegaard, Jorginho, Rice, Saka, Havertz, and Gabriel Jesus. That was probably the only addition to the Arsenal team that people can look at and maybe they wasn't fully expecting it. A lot of talk before the game of people saying they'd like to see Gabriel Jesus in this game, not just because what he offers going forward. But, you know, Gabriel Jesus does have a high defensive work rate. Is that something Mikel Arteta's took into consideration for this game? Just having a look at the subs now. You've got Trossard on the bench, which is kind of a shock because Trossard's been doing so well. He is one of our best players in terms of output. So to not have him on the pitch, you know, it is kind of a shock because Trossard's been in that starting lineup. And Gabriel Jesus has been on the bench for a lot of it. But Mikel Arteta deciding this is the game for Gabriel Jesus. And I don't disagree with him. He can create a moment of magic. He is good defensively. And I think he just offers a lot in terms, you know, his hunger, his desire, always hounding his press. Maybe that's the reason he's brought him in. But I'm looking at that Man City team now and they're, look, they're strong on the attack. Bernardo Silva, Haaland and Foden, they're going to cause us problems today. Not the quickest players in the world in terms of the wingers, but they're just so technically good. Left and right wing, both of them, so technically good. Then you've got Haaland up front, who's who's not hit the heights that he did last season. It was probably impossible for him to do that. He's obviously had injuries as well. More than capable, though. The game's nearly ready to kick off. Like I said, let me know your thoughts on the game. What's your scoreline? I'm going with a... You know what? I've been changing all week between a 2-1 and a 3-1. 3-1. I'm going to go with a 3-1. Looking at that team, I think Arsenal are capable of going there and putting a 3-1 pass. And now, listen, this is a team I heard someone say that hasn't been beat at home since the World Cup. So it's not going to be an easy game. I think Arsenal are capable of doing it. Interesting as well, Gabriel Martinelli on the bench. We heard he may be available for this game and it's good to see him on the bench. When we saw him after that Brentford game and he was on crutches, you know, you think the worst. And then there's rumours going about midweek of him having to have surgery. And you're thinking, no, but he's on the bench. So that's such a good impact player. You know, usually sort of early on in this season where we've had injuries, we've struggled to have players come on off the uh, on the pitch from off the bench who can really make an impact. But when you've got players like Partey can come in and, and shore a game up, you know, we've got Smith Rowe, Martinelli, Nketiah, Tommy Asu, Trossard. We've got so many good options now. Our depth is way, way better. I'm trying. I'm just going to have a look at, at City substitutes. They've obviously got, oh, they've got Grealish on the bench, Doku, Alvarez, always a good option, John Stones. Intriguing matchup. Sean going for a draw. Listen, a draw is not the end of the world. Most of the time, you're going into a game against Man City and you're thinking, oh, I'd love to take a draw at their ground, but I wouldn't take a draw right now. Maybe that's foolish, but I just think we're we're capable of going there and getting a result. It's been so long since we beat them. 2015 was the last time we won at the Etihad, which is crazy. 
But this could be the pivotal moment. Getting ready to kick off. Can't wait to see how the midfield's going to line up. Will we see Declan Rice in the in the holding role in the six? Or will he be playing the eight? He's played eight for a lot of the season. Jorginho has been the guy who's sitting deepest and he sort of dictates play and allows Declan Rice to fly forward. But will they set up differently in a game like this? Do you need the, the defensive sta stability that Declan Rice offers? I just hope we don't go come out this game and just... Start slowly. We need to start fast. So many games this season we've started fast. And in the Champions League game against Porto, we come out slow. Hopefully there's not many nerves out there. Looks to me like Jorginho sitting deepest at the minute, which means maybe, which means maybe we've not switched it round. Declan Rice will still be playing that eight, so we can get back and get forward as much as he likes, which is good. If if you have the confidence that you can still do that in a game like this, then I don't see why you would change it. Come on, an early goal in this game. Ooh. Oh, nice from Kivio. It's got good to see Saka back as well. It's always nervy when players get pulled from international duty because you think it's because, yeah, listen, we need to keep them fresh, but you never actually know. Gabriel as well, he was pulled. Said it was just a precaution. Oh, that looks off offside ref, surely. Harlan looks like he could be. Oh, what a tackle from Saliba there. Bullied Harlan. And it was offside in the end anyway. Brilliant challenge there from Saliba because he didn't know it was offside. It was a good battle last time between Harlan and Saliba. Saliba absolutely pocketed him. Hopefully this game is much the same. See Gabriel Jesus there already, hounding, chasing back. And I think that's probably what Mikel Arteta has seen. The defensive ability of, of Jesus is way higher than a, than a Trossard. And he gives away a free kick there right on the edge of the area. A, a chance here for City to whip one in. That's not a great position to give a foul away there. Kevin De Bruyne might whip one in it. Or Foden. De Bruyne's going to whip one in. Oh. And he does. Oh, goes out for a corner, is it? Ben White away. Two seconds.
Man City corner. Don't want to concede from a set piece early on. Oh, you're joking. No, you j Oh, I thought Harlem was free then. We need to get out. Relieve some pressure. Not had a chance to really get hold of the ball yet. Harlan's on it now. Right, here we go. Declan Rice, get your foot on the ball. I've not really seen much of this keeper, to be fair, Moreno, Ortega. I'd be testing him out, that's for sure. Oh, referee, what's happened there? Saliba's gone down. Arsenal play it quick. Bear with me, I'm not well. Right, this is the Arsenal, but they're foot on the ball now. Here we go. Ben White on the overlap. Comes to Jesus. Oh, that, that was a chance there. Half chance. Didn't have the full goal to shoot at because the Man City player was in front of him. But that is at least a chance. Ben White on the overlap. Whips it in. Falls to Gabby J. Has to have a quick shot. But outside of the side netting, not bad. Oh, just didn't have the angle to try and get a shot on goal. That was nice though. Well worked. From Ben White there. Let's go. Saliba, Ben White getting forward again. Oh, that's better. Here we go. Arsenal on the ball now. That was nice. Good. Let's go, Ben White. Oh. What was the foul for? No way. You have a foul on Havertz there. I didn't put the timer on, have I? There we go. You want to watch along? That's what time I'm on.
Man City on the attack here. Up to Kevin De Bruyne, whips it in. David Rea. Let's go, quick attack. Playing quite high, City. Struggling here to, to, to get the ball down. This is bound to be a different game anyway. It's never, never going to be a game where we turn up and just dominate them. There's going to be periods of the game where they're pushing us. There's going to be periods of the game where we're pushing them. Having to be defensive here. Yeah. Sort of Liverpool game earlier as well. That was a uh... I don't know, Liverpool are not looking on it, but they're just grinding out the results. I think maybe Brighton deserved a draw in that game. Liverpool just picking up the wins, though, and that's all it takes. That's all you need. Just keep getting the three points. Man City on the press here. Let's go. Here we go. Odegaard, Saka. Nice feet. Oh, straight back to City. Good, Declan Rice. Oh, heavy touch, Kivior. Bernardo Silva to KDB. Oh, Saliba tidied up at the back there. Can't be giving none of them balls away from Kivior. There was some question marks before the game whether Kivior would start. He played a lot of minutes in that international Played the most minutes out of any Arsenal player. So some people wouldn't have been shocked to see Tommy Asu start this game. Probably would have been unfair on Kivior, though, because he's done so well recently. Yeah, nice. Right, back with Real. Man City is staying so far up. They wanted to play a high line. They wanted to press us in our half. Saliba don't muck about. There's no options for him. Someone give him an option. Arsenal free kick. Man City looking the most dominant team so far. Very early days, though. But Ben White's on the overlap again here. On the outside, I mean. Whips it. In. Keeper claims. And that's all it takes. Just one break. Especially with Havertz in there now. He offers you a, a bit of aerial ability. Some, ga some games we're floating the balls in and there's no one in there. Sometimes you've got Trossard or Jesus up front, which... And never going to be the strongest in the air. But Havertz is actually quite good in the air. So you can play them balls now. Where you're just whipping it in. Because he can win a header. Don't always go and target. But he still has the ability to win the header. And he's been so good Havertz recently. That I wouldn't put it past him to score. We saw him in the international break. Against, Germany, uh, against France. Scored as well. It's crazy isn't it. A, a bit of form. And then Germany start him up front. He, it weren't too long ago, a few months ago, that they was playing him left back. Havertz at left back. Got City breaking on the left now, though. 
Vardio, well tracked by Saka. Another Man City corner. I'm interested to see that Vardio, to be fair, because the few times that I've watched him, I haven't really seen it. Certainly not an £85 million price tag, whatever they paid. I'm sure he's a decent player, but... I think he's much like Kivio. I think he's a centre-back, but they're sort of playing him out of position. Oh, my... Whoa. Raya picks it up off the line there. That was... Cr I don't know what happened there. Whose man was that? Let's have a quick look. Declan Rice battling with someone. Oh, I think it come off Ake. God, it was a free header as well. Ake probably should have done better there. That was a free header. Man. They're doing a good job of just marking our centre mid so they haven't got a pass on. They're just standing in front of Jorginho and Declan Rice. So when Saliba's got the ball, he's got no one to pass it to. He's had to go long there and then Arsenal lose it. Them centre mids need to make themselves more available. Arsenal corner. We know how deadly Arsenal can be from corners. Come on, this could be it. Get big gabs up there. This is where Man City will be looking at Arsenal and thinking, don't concede because, look, corner goals scored. Arsenal, 13, first place. Set piece goals, 19, first place. Goal scores from crosses. Arsenal, first place. Just shows how deadly we've been this season in the air. Saka's going to whip it in. Come on. Oh, it's a nice ball. Who's in there? Oh, keeper claims it, but that was heading towards big gabs at the back post. Again, Arsenal just being patient, sitting fairly deep. Vardy all free. He whips it in. Oh, look. Gabby Jesus on the back. It's going to be one of them games, isn't it, where we just got to sit and be patient. And City knocking it about nicely. It's got to be said, they're dominating possession at the minute. It doesn't mean it's going to stay like that for the whole game, but they are playing well at the minute. 
Arsenal just got to sit deep, be patient. A chance will open up. Even Havertz is back pretty deep. Jesus fully involved in the defensive work. And that's why it will, will be a good addition for Gabriel Martinelli to come off in the second half. Because when you're playing this deep, you know, you do need an outlet. And Gabriel Martinelli, Martinelli can be that for Arsenal. Here we go. Havertz. To Saka. Ref, that's got to be then. Oh. There we go. Sitting slightly higher up on the pitch now. That's what you want to see. Oh, good feet there from Odegaard. A Man City throw. Look at that. Successful passes in the final third. Man City 58. Arsenal only five at the minute. Chances will come, though. The game's not going to stay like this for, for the full 90 minutes. Arsenal will grab a hold of this game at some point. Just need to stay compact. This coming, don't worry. Come on. City doing a good job at the minute. We've just got to stay tight, like I said. Just don't let them in. Like that. Give you all, get it out. You know, we can still be confident when we're playing like this. It's not like years gone by where Arsenal's got a rubbish defence. Arsenal do have the, the the best defence in the league. So if Man City want to score, they're going to have to work for it. But you don't like, you know, Man City are notorious for holding the ball and being patient. And then an, an opportunity comes up. Good tackle there from Declan Rice. Absolutely snaps Rodri in half. And now Arsenal on the break. 
Havertz, come on, give him some support. Oh, Gabby J, was that offside or not? Oh. Havertz and the keeper there. That was a 50 50, though. That was nice from Arsenal. Like I said, the break will come, but we're just going to struggle on the break because none of our players are rapid. never a foul there. Man City players complaining for a foul. Havertz had to go for the ball to keep a dive for it and Havertz slid. Pep Guardiola going crazy on the sideline. No foul. Surely ref. Man City making a change already. Must be an injury. Who's that coming off? Ake it looks like. Ake injury, early doors. Woo! Wow. Yeah. Ake injured, yeah, crazy. He must have been carrying something then. I didn't really see any challenge that he went in for. Did he just pull up? I didn't even see a tackle there that sort of could have injured him. That's good, though, because that's a big, strong defensive unit there that's come off. Listen, you never want to wish injuries on a team or on a player. Listen, the young kid who's coming on is a good technical player, but they lose defensive stability now that Ake's gone off. So that's just another area that Arsenal can exploit. We just need to try and get a grip of the game now. Midfield, slow it down. It's hard to slow it down, though. Man City, you're on us. They're pressing high. They're sitting quite forward. Oh, we just need to try and gain some river, rhythm in this game. Go on, Gabs. Oh, Gabrielle, nice. <laughs> Alphonse, hello. How you doing, mate? You right? Good to see you in the chat, man. Play more, Jesus. We need to see some more. He's not really had much of the ball yet, but then again, not many of our players have. You've got to bear with me here, people. Two secs. Yeah, we need to get Jesus on the ball. It's difficult. Man City are kind of pinning us back into a defensive shape and it's hard. It looks like so far from, from the way that the, the game's been playing, we're just going to get the breakaway chance. But we need to try and get a grip of the game somehow. The, the Bruyne free kick. One second, Nick. That yes, let's go. There's a chance here. Ah, I just need to play it down, man. Get it down. Oh, nice from Havertz. And see, seem all over the pitch in a minute.
Here we go. This is a better period for Arsenal. Kiwi or tries to play Havertz through, doesn't work. That's about as much as we played this game so far. It's been tough. Chances will come, though. We've just got to stay patient. Oh, silly. Oh, thank God. KDB nearly found a pass there. There we go, Ben White. Come on. Into Udi. Came back in then. Come on, Kiwi. You're ever got. Oh. Oh, Gabby J. See, that's what he offers. So tricky in them tight areas. Miss Jesus, yeah. But he's so good in them tight control areas. Just buys himself enough of a, a, a space to have a shot. We need to get Jesus involved in the game more. Ben White down that right-hand side. That's a few times now he's gone, gone beyond the defender and, and had a chance to whip a ball in. That's good from Ben White. England's best right back, and he don't even get picked for England. Crazy. Benny Blanks. This is better from Arsenal. We seem to be growing into this game now. There's a few, been a few passages of play here where Arsenal are stringing a few balls together. Man City sl sitting slightly deeper. Ah, there was a chance there, but it comes off the back of Declan Rice. Come on, Arsenal. We're way higher up now. This is a better shape from Arsenal. I don't want to be sitting deep. That's where Man City operate at their best. When they're on the edge of your box, they'll just wait and find the killer pass. We need to stay as high as we can, but it is difficult because they got Haaland, who is rapid and he's strong. But so are our centre-backs. Back to Raya. I'll tell you what, though, for all the position Man City's had, they haven't really carved any clear cut dangerous opportunities. Who's that? Saliba just putting the ball out there. Go on, God. Go on, God. Oh, man. It looks like... Oh, my God. Jesus doing dirt. Oh, don't tell me that was offside. Kiwior, stay on side, man. Jesus, good play there on the edge of the box. Sent about three players to the bakery, but just couldn't get his shot away. Only uh, Odegaard had a bit more pace there. He would have been in. Jesus skipping past Rodri. 
He was onside there as well. They pulled it back for an offside and it weren't even offside. Come on, Arsenal. Saka's not really been involved yet either, to be fair. Play back to Declan Rice. Go on, Deckers. One, two. Oh. oh. Saka's gone for the shot there. Jesus, dodgy ball. This is better, though. This is a better few minutes from Arsenal. Looking a, mo a lot more dangerous. Saka's gone for the shot there, but Odegaard just got in the way. But growing in confidence, that's what we want. I hate it when we're pinned back. Here we go. Last five minutes, Arsenal's probably dominated the play. 38% in City's half compared to a, it was 5% earlier. And City with a ball, but Arsenal's defensive shape is so strong. Very little gaps. City whip it in. Oh my God, who was that of Haaland? Woo! See Haaland flying through the air then. Kivior, you got to get goal side. Bullied his way through Kivior there. Gabriel, I think, got the important header on it. Ah, uh, Declan Rice gives a free kick away on Haaland. Haaland crying for a yellow card. Never going to get it for that. <laughs> I can see why he wanted it. Don't concede now before half time, please. KDB on a free kick. Too far out to shoot, you would think. Whips it in. Goes all the way through. Akanji. Can't wait to see Martinelli come on in the second half. Not because he'll be able to get involved in the game more, but just when we're sitting so deep, he does offer that outlet that we don't have on the pitch at the minute. Listen, Gabriel Jesus has, has, has done good so far. Created a couple of opportunities for himself. I think you need an outlet in Gabriel Martinelli. Bernardo Silva dancing around the edge of our box. Now whip it in. Oh, oh my God. Rodri.
Oh, David Rayo, what are you doing? That's the last thing we want to do is give away a silly chance. Like I said, they haven't really had a clear-cut chance yet, so you don't want to be giving them anything silly. Just stay tight if we have to till half-time. Referee giving everything the city's way, blowing for everything. I was probably being slightly optimistic with my prediction of 3-1 for Arsenal. <laughs> if this game was played two weeks ago, though, you'd give us a way bigger chance of... Oh, David Ray, what are you doing? Maybe just broke the momentum having that international break. Arsenal were clearly the best team going into that international break. Oh, go on, go for a corner. What's that offside? Corner ball. Oh, man, I would love it. Oh, I'd love it before half time. Probably undeserved goal. I'm here for it. Arsenal probably had the uh, City probably had the better of the possession so far, but Arsenal so deadly on set pieces, so deadly on corners. Declan Rice first chance for him to whip one in. Let's go! I'm ready to jump up. Didn't happen, did it? Saka, whip it back in. Get back, boys. Oh, Declan Rice, nice. Ah, oh, come on. I can only do this watch along till half time as well. So I was hoping we'd score before half time. At least get a celebration before I've got to go. Come on. Don't concede now, please. Get up. Referee, blow up. I don't know why, but he's on the floor to so blow. Yeah, I'll take it. And he did. Let's go. Book him then. Get your card out. Stay down, Odegaard. That's a player you don't want injured, that's for sure. Come on, give me one goal before I've got to go. Let me know your thoughts on the game so far. It's been a tough one. Man City probably dominated the 
well, not dominated. They've had the more possession, certainly for the first 10, 15 minutes. Arsenal kind of grew into the game. Ben White's looked decent a few times on the overlap on the outside. Jesus Craft did a couple of opportunities. But apart from that, Saka's not really been involved yet. Havertz hasn't really been involved yet. And it's hard to, to get a grip of the game in midfield when you're sitting so deep, when they're pushing you on the edge of your box, you're just having to say so solid. Hard to really get going, but I think that will change in the second half. But unfortunately, like I said, I've got to go at half time. It doesn't look like we're going to have anything to cheer about before then. No, don't, 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 don't. Not now. Oh, Gabby J. Let's go. Come on. Referee. Book him. David Ray, a chance to lump one up there. Come on, give us one chance before I've got to go. Doesn't look like it's going to happen, does it? It's not too bad, though. Going into half time, nil nil. Said you would expect more opportunities in the second half. There's going to be some substitutes, and this time around, we actually have some good substitutions to make. Tommy Asu, and that looks like that was the whistle. I said I was only ever going to do the first half watch along for today. Thanks for watching. Next time I do the stream, I'll be doing the, the full match. So, Gooners, have a good day.